And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some day and night. It's going to be our next deck uh, for the brand new expansion, Call of the Mountain. And according to Twitch chat, I just found out that it's International Dog Day today. So Puppy wanted to jump up here and say hi. She's super, super camera shy, as you can tell. Um, she doesn't like the computer screens too much, but she's going to be hanging out. So this deck is going to be about uh, Nightfall and Daybreak and putting them together. So you'd think that you wouldn't want to put your Daybreak cards and your Nightfall cards together, um, just flavor-wise. That doesn't seem like that would work. Like, why, why would you put, you know, you don't want Daybreak and Nightfall. But these actually work really well together. Because Daybreak are cards that you get the bonus if this is the first card you play in a round. So you, you lead off your round by playing a Daybreak card. And then the Nightfall cards give you the bonus if they're not the first card you play in the round. So then you can play the Nightfall card afterwards. So play your Daybreak, get a bonus, then play your Nightfall, get a bonus. So every card you play each round, you get a bonus. <laughs> that's that's uh, basically what we're going to be trying to do here. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, and so we're going to be combining Leona. If we've activated Daybreak four plus times, uh, she levels up and stuns some enemies and things. And then also Diana, we've activated Nightfall four plus times. She levels up and chal challenges some enemies and things. So that's our that's our deck, day and night. Yeah, that was... Uh, Alright, so we're going to go play over in Ranked. We're going to go play five games. Ranked is now back opened up. Uh, that's Puppy. That's her name. Puppy. And then also have Harvey. My other dog is named Harvey, and she is... Uh, sitting right here by my feet, too. I was just petting her. So they're both here with us. Okay, so we're going to need to... I'm going to mulligan this. Um, we have the attack token on turn four. All right, I'm going to keep all of these. Interesting. Hmm. So right now, I think we go this turn, turn three. Ooh. Um. We're either going to go Onlooker or Shield Breaker. One of these two. Uh, I guess it would be faster to level up. Alright, is Diana just... Okay, no, it just... Okay, has to play a Nightfall to get a Diana Challenger. Um... Alright, going with that. I don't know. That's a great Nightfall enabler. <laughs> yeah, doc, yeah, my dog's name is Harvey, like Two-Face from Batman, yes. Um, I named her after Harvey from the TV show Suits. Um, Harvey Specter, if you've seen the, the TV show Suits. Uh, okay, so we're going to just have... We could just level up Diana this turn. Can't we? Oh no, we can only do... Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Let's do that. So sorry, Leona. We'll, we'll work on you after this. We will not suffer unbelievers. 
they will not escape punishment. Each act of heresy is an act of passion. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. That's a pretty me. sweet animation. Okay, we will attack with everything. We'll have our challenger take the 3 6 right there. We will challenge the. Just challenge a regular 2 2 or a 1 2. This might as well just be a 1 2. I will be heard. Right here. The guilty will bend. Okay, so we went all out on day. Now it's time to go out on. Now it's time to start playing some. Or we went all. We went uh, with all the night. Now it's time to do all the day stuff. What's up, Lens Lens Hunter? Thanks for that resub. Three awesome months in our sub goal. All right, my son bursting this thing. What are we doing, Le Swain and Leona? Or I could just stun it with the Leona. Probably don't need to. Probably don't need to sunburst that thing. Alright, so we're definitely gonna have some bonus streams today. We already had bonus stream from yesterday that was gonna be today, so we're gonna be doing some bonus stream tomorrow as well. Tomorrow, um, we're gonna be doing the later stream this same time tomorrow that we started today. We're gonna be starting the same time tomorrow as well. Um. I don't want to wait on those. I'm just gonna pass. Scorching light. Sure. Could block with my three five. Don't really feel like I need to. Now I wish I would have. <sighs> this is not easy to sequence exactly how I want to sequence. Strike while the planet's alive. So my plan is play this, and then play Onlooker, play Onlooker. You know, obviously I would rather have these Onlookers in play first, if I could. But they're gonna be four power fearsomes. Ouch. I wish we could add our 9-5 quick attack Diana challenger. Yeah, these these onlookers are looking pretty good for just a one mana card, you know, that we get to just throw out there. They're they hit quite hard. Still have the Sunburst. Sunburst should should kill Swain, even if even if Swain's leveled up. The light 
Ooh, that card's good. That card's quite good. Let's see what we get. Um, I want the warrior. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Behold the divine power of the sun. Yeah, Tansy, I, th I think I feel some power in this deck too. I think we got we got some stuff going on here. For sure. What exactly that will be, will we'll have to see over time. We can drain one from anything, create a random Nightfall card in hand. Daylight fades and dusk soothes. As the moon rises, quiet reflection begins. Okay. Don't get to Sunburst. Or I don't get to do the, the Sunburst card. Our sun will not set today. Another one of those. So we'll drain one and then we'll also a random nightfall card we still get that sunlight daybreak ability Basically, if, if they would have had their 5-3 block the 2-1, then you know, we'd be able to drain one from it. Alright, they still have... We know that they still have another Celestial card in hand that costs 4, 5, or 6. So we have to assume that, that card's going to be great. And they're going to have another one of those in hand. So they're going to have a couple of great cards in hand. Um... It's a good card. That's perfect. We'll get a four, five, or six. Let's get a golden sister. Yeah. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So it's always day. My faith protects me. Okay, so we, yeah, we can still cast Nightfall cards even though it's day. That was one thing that I wanted to, to kind of try out with this deck. All right, so we have Crescent Strike that would stun two things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana still. So let's play the Golden two, Sister. Is one. See what they do. The Leviathan. Okay, so we stun... Those two. And they can block with the one two. But I think that's about it. GG's. Get a win for day and night. <laughs> yeah. 
That's true. The yeah, that that five five mana five five day man as you call him. Yeah, also cantrips, and then yeah has a, has an ability as well. Real strong. Yeah, I could see that being like a four four or something. GGs. Hey, Kordak got seven wins in Expedition. Way to go. We got Lux and Tarek, I think that was. Sunburst is going to be great against Lux, but I think we mulligan it for now. We'll find another one by the time they have a Lux. I was like getting like these Nightfall cards originally. There we go. We need like a we need like a Daybreak card or a spell. Um, I could just play Onlooker Diana and just get both those in. We'd get one Nightfall with the Diana, um, and we just get those two cards in play. That's probably worth it. Oh, what am I doing? We can't get both of those in play. We don't have three actual mana. <laughs> we have three mana because of the spell. Oh, I'm silly. All right, well. Hit him for two. Take that, Remembrance. Take that. You took two damage. Don't you forget it. Ugh. <laughs> new cards. We're going to make some mistakes sometimes with the new cards. That's just going to happen. No. Spell shield. Why is spell shield so broken? Or at least it's still counted as a daybreak card for Leona. So that's good. I suppose. As far as good could be. Um... So we can play the Shade Stalker, get a 2-3 Elusive. Obviously, the 2-3 Elusive is just going to be dying. Or I save the mana for Falling Combat. I feel like saving the mana is probably going to be better right now. Looking into the future, I see purple. Man, that's permanent buff, too. Not great. Not great at all. Pretty rough. That, all because of that spell shield. You know, just trading. Uh, yeah, that spell shield was uh, crazy good. Just don't see any plays that are good. <laughs> I guess I guess we're going to obliterate something. But now, you know, like, they still have all of this and the six mana. Powerful wizard. Thank you so much for getting that resub in here for five awesome months. 
I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, and we'll go... Just don't really need Leona, I guess. Let's go this thing. And Yud! With the resub as well. Thank you, Yud. Awesome, you got the other thumbnails done. Thank you so much, Yud. You are amazing. All right, let me real quick go put a thumbnail on Celestial Dragons. Find your own light within the darkness. Your light is a lie. Okay, so elusive. No more lies. I will be heard. Face to the sun. Leave or burn. Alright, can we save that? That worked perfect. Thank you, Yud. Alright, got a scout. Alright, so that gets us seven subs today. Man, most subs in a while. All right, what are they doing over here? Okay, guiding touch. Um, that does four damage. Our light grows brighter. Help save that. Try some stunning stuff. Wherever I go, you are never far behind. When night falls, I know that you are with me. So we just gotta play one more Solari soldier to stun the next thing. No. Final sunset. Never mind. Never mind about all that. Is the one true light. So Diana needs two more Nightfall cards to level up. Okay, we got nine mana, so we do have enough so I can go Priestess, and then Priestess, then Priestess, and Diana's leveled up. Um, and then I think we'd have to cast another Nightfall card to give Diana Challenger again. Or we just go for the Invoke strategy. Let's start with this Priestess. Another tra traveler. I played two remembrance. All they need is one more mana of spells to level up Lux, or you know, to get Lux another final spark. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Which is rude. All right, falling comet. Good. I think, yeah, okay, yeah, I have, a Sol I have a Solari soldier that's chilling here in the middle that you can't see. Just hit in. That's just gonna kill everything.
Sunlight blinds while moonlight reveals. Okay, obliterate two enemies. That could be necessary. I guess we could have attacked for two first. Alright, so yeah, we have, we have little things we can block with. So they have five cards in hand. We have a bunch of good stuff if all of this stuff works. Ooh, it is starting to pour down rain here. Ha! Surprise, Tutu. Gotcha. They never expected that Tutu to be there. Fallen Comet one and some burst the other. I don't know if getting rid of this Taric is really that important, though. It probably isn't. Um, I'm going to play the Traveler instead of getting rid of Taric. Uh, do I want the Immortal Fire? I mean, the Immortal Fire is great, but we actually have to spend full mana on it. It's not like we're playing Aurelian Soul where it's going to cost zero, three, six, seven, eight. May just want to grab this messenger for a nice little blocker. No, this card's way too good. I mean, just yeah, this card's just way too good. Dude, these meteor showers are wrecking me. Wrecking me. Better to obliterate that thing than t than Taric. Yeah. So they have two cards plus these three gems. Look sharp. Nine seven with overwhelm, and give it a gem. Also make it ten, or give a gem here. They can. I play the immortal fire to block, but they challenge my immortal. F with that, so that means I block block. Let's see. I guess ten. I had, I had to block these two. Let the ten deal damage to me. Wait, no, because I can only block one. Uh, so it looks like I'm dead. Sunburst isn't gonna kill this thing. Um, I don't think there's any burst removal. Looks like I'm just dead. Uh... Try seeing what we can find. Slow. Yeah, it's just slow. 
What? That's the worst one. I did not click that one. I guess I ran out of time. To protect all yeah, it doesn't matter though. Never submit. All right, GG's one and one. Yeah, I'm a little worried about these kind of celestial cards. I don't want it to just turn because they are so powerful. And you, as you see, like you know, we're both playing all these invoke stuff, but we're never running out of cards. Like you, you never run out of stuff. So yeah, is it gonna just turn into aggro versus this? Is you know, versus celestial stuff? Is that what's gonna happen? I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we'll have to see. It's it's way too early to call that, but I can't deny that it is a little troublesome. Hmm. So the problem is, like, these are good cards, but I'm not at... I may need to just mulligan so I can start attacking a lot earlier. But, like, that's not a bad hand. Maybe I just keep the Leona, Robin, try to get... Try to curve out with the Daybreak stuff. Wow, talk about something not... Talking about a plan not working. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Yeah, Demacia is probably for like the probably for like the Demacia. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Part for the Demacia Dragon. card. Should probably have more of those. The Daylight Sphere is the best card, but that's probably just too expensive. Maybe you have to get these priestesses. Or cheaper things for Daybreak for Leona. Card just impossible to attack through. You know not the meaning of sacred. Two mana, three six. It can block fearsome. Ah, that card's amazing. I mean, I don't. You know, y'all are saying that aggro can beat can beat this stuff. Like, you know, they played. One mana, one one. Two mana, two two. Turn three, they had a three six to block. You know, now they have this. Like, ag like this is a lot of cheap things, blockers. It's not going to be that easy for. Not going to be that easy for aggro. Uh, okay, Mr. Eight's core deck. Thank you. I did not see that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know, those meteor showers that my opponent was playing that last game looked great. Maybe I need to be taking those. Find your own light within the darkness. Your light is a lie. Forgive me. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. I like our deck. I think it's pretty cool. I'm. This Aurelian Soul stuff just seems super powerful, though. It's. The light of my star warms the heavens. Okay, yeah. This is. It's kind of like sea monsters if Nautilus made sea monsters himself. Let's see that. All right. So where we're we at? We're at two, and we're at three. Two day, three night. I don't have any more night cards in hand. I play the morning light. We, that will just uh, level this up immediately. Um, 
I should play Morning Light. Sunlight burns in our weapons. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. So that'll stun that and get rid of the spell shield on that thing. So I cannot, nine mana, I cannot play the Daylight Spear and then another Morning Light. We can play the Priestess and then a Morning Light. Where are you at? You're at three out of four? So yeah, let's go Priestess. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Stun. Oh yeah, we're definitely yeah. It's it's way too early to say that celestial stuff is too good. It's you know, it's just too early. What? That's just a waste of a card. Branch drag. Did they just make a mistake? Did they choose the wrong thing? Branch dragon allies. Plus one, plus one. Find your path in the dark. So we, when you level up Diana, does she get challenger? I don't think so, right? No, just the quick attack. We'd have to play another Nightfall to give Diana Challenger. We rise. Why are we not stunning things? Why did we not stun anything? Oh, because that's not a Daybreak card. Right. I don't have the Raven in play. I don't always just get Daybreak stuff. Right. Well, Stand and fight. that was maybe not worth it. Oh, no. We're attacking for a bunch. We'll see what happens. Right. I don't have the Raven. I was thinking I was going to have the Raven in play. You know, I was just thinking it's always day, but that's not the case. Witness divinity. have more cards than they do. So I guess that's cool. Shroud the world in wings. So it looks like we're going to see a certain dragon champion next turn. Bask in the light's radiance. Wait, is that that dragon? No, no, no. That's wait. Okay, so yeah, that is a permanent buff of the dragon allies get plus one, plus one, but not them anywhere, just the ones that are currently in play. Okay, I think I just saved the spell mana, pass the turn. Wait for these daybreak cards until next turn. Okay, that thing. That thing's fine. Okay, pass turn. All right, it's always day now. Twelve mana. Raise 
your weapon, Sunwood. The sun splendor. Yeah, it's our fourth Le Leona to draw. So I can double morning light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many things do we stun? Is it frozen? What's going on here? There it goes. How many things is this going to stun? I think just two, right? Not one for each one of these, I don't think. I don't think it's like four. I think it's just two. Yeah, so two. And then we we'll play another one and stun two again. Because all this is doing is getting rid of those spell shields. I guess we might as well play... If we're going to stun two things, I guess we might as well play Priestess, Priestess. I don't know. Plus two, plus two to all this stuff, though. So it'll just stun the fused firebrand. So they'll have three blockers. Meteor Shower does get rid of two blockers. If I just play this, I can just kill the two one, one things. Oh, it's an enemy unit? It just says an enemy. Because Aurelian Soul's not leveled up yet, so they have two blockers, so Celestials don't cost zero right now. Alright, GG's. Day and night is two and one. One thing about everybody having infinite cards and the the bad part about these Celestials, how we both, like, everybody just has, like, infinite cards in hand and never runs out of stuff. The games go super, super long. <laughs> We're at 42 minutes. We've played three games. Um, that's just something, you know, it's just going to, it just takes a long time to play these games. Yeah, and so that that's not great, um, having super long games all the time. Like, it's it's okay to have super long games every once in a while, but you don't want every single game to be super long and grindy. Absolutely. So we have, yeah, so our, our deck is built around two new mechanics, Daybreak and Nightfall. So Daybreak is, uh, if it's the first card that you play each turn, each round, then you get a little bonus for your Daybreak cards. And the Nightfall is whenever it's, you get a little bonus for whenever it's not the first card you play in a round. So you would think flavor-wise, you wouldn't want to put Daybreak and Nightfall cards together, you'd think. But they actually kind of play pretty well together because um, you get the bonus for playing your Daybreak card first, then you get your bonus for playing your Nightfall card second. Bless the faithful and fear the heretic. So we get a Daybreak bonus, because <clears throat> it's the first card we played this turn, and now we'll get a Nightfall bonus. For it being the second card we play this turn. So they made they have an ephemeral copy of Stygian Onlooker. They also have a random nightfall card here with that new version of Vile Feast. Yes, um, if you have the the card that says it's always day in play, you still are able to um, still are able to cast your nightfall cards. The Stalking Shadow cards has looked really good. I think that I should probably have three of this card in my deck. That card has looked awesome. You're welcome, Yud. You're welcome. 
All right, so that thing's ephemeral. Go and play this priestess. Ooh, meteor shower is probably going to be pretty good in this matchup. Let's see, what are they? Yeah, because that kills, that kills Nocturne. I wish I could see their champions. I don't remember who their other champion is. Um, the warrior is also good though. But I'm going to keep this meteor shower. Okay, Nocturne's the only one. So not playing Diana. Interesting. It's really storming here. That's a good draw. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. We get our daybreak. So is that our third daybreak card for Leona? Yep. And now we're going to go Nightfall with Diana. And I have a little bit of protection here with this Pale Cascade. It'll also be Nightfall. I'll get to draw a card. Yeah, it's difficult to, to curve with Nightfall. This card that my opponent just played is a card that's basically designed to help people curve with Nightfall. It's a one drop. It's one mana, two, one. So you could play it on turn one, but then it, it creates a Dusk Petal Dusk in hand, which is a one mana spell that says the next unit with Nightfall you play costs one less. So you get to, um, you know, you get to play this first before your nightfall, and you also make it cost one less. So this is this card is designed to help curve with the nightfall, but yeah, it is. I agree, it is somewhat difficult to curve with nightfall. So you know they don't want to play anything else because they don't want me challenging other stuff, I suppose, with Diana. But because of that, the, the Nightfall cards, in general, are usually pretty inexpensive. Um, or, you know, like, they're, like, cheaper, like, one drops, two drops, as you can see here. Because it is more difficult to play them. Uh, curving out with them and getting your Nightfall bonus and everything. Yeah, Nightfall cards want burst spells, yep. Def definitely. Which is why maybe that 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 two mana burst speed card that they played earlier is great and great with Nightfall. I mean, fading memories is, but um, this one, Stalking Shadows, that card's great. That should probably be a three of in the deck, but I don't know how I what I would do to take something out for that. All right, what they just do? Oh, they just played this and then passed. All right, cool. Pass back. All right, so it's a five-three overwhelm. Daylight, everlasting. So Laddie control all that her warmth touches. Whatever the cost. Our light grows brighter. Believe or burn. Oh, pill cascade battles. Ouch. Does leave their unit at one health. It's good for my meteor shower. Um. I do wish I had more mana. If I play the Morning Light, get everything plus two, plus two, then, like, you know, these will also get the plus one, plus one, so these will be, like, five, 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 seven, seven. Five fives aren't Come spectacular right now. Maybe I'd just try playing some Shade Stalkers. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals 
protects you from our foes. We were peaceful, but... Unseen, unheard. Find your path in the dark, and follow no false light! So that thing's ephemeral. So I can either keep the 2 3 that will get no kind of bonus from Morning Light, or keep the 2 2 that will get a bonus from Morning Light. Just make it vulnerable for a round. No, vulnerable for good? I don't like that. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. I cannot turn back! Be heard for truth. Mm. Forgive me. Hope this works and takes out Nocturne. Fight. It's thunderstorm in here. Poor Harvey. She doesn't like thunderstorms at all. She's laying under the table and panting. But unfortunately, my Diana is vulnerable. Ooh, Leona, meteor shower, of course, can kill both of these. If they if they have another Nocturne, we can kill Nocturne and the five one. That's what that's my goal this turn is to play this meteor shower and get rid of this Crescent Guardian because it's it's large, it's overwhelm. I'm scared of that thing. But of course, if I try doing one damage to it, if they have another of the plus two plus one card. That can be trouble. My patience wanes. New set's looking pretty sweet. Delphinus definitely looking strong. Lots of card advantage in Targon. All the invoke cards are uh, being quite impressive. Yeah, that one's ephemeral, so they're just going to have this challenge, Diana. With it being ephemeral. No! I did have another Pale Cascade. <sighs> Rough. This is pretty scary. So we know they have another... Okay, I'm going to be going to four at least. We know they have another one of the three two that drain in hand. That drains two. Gosh, hopefully they just have one of those and not two. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Hopefully just one of those. We're going to play Leona, stun something, morning light. And kill them. That's the, This is the plan. Carry her light across the mountain. Sunlight lies. Just gotta hope they don't have two of the, the three twos. If they have two of the three twos, we lose. Hmm. 
It's not bad giving a spell shield. That's not bad. There's one. Really hope they don't have another one of those. We rise. I want to... If we get really lucky, we get a Solari Soldier. Okay. Solari Soldier would have been really lucky how we got the random Daybreak card with us having the one mana left. Nah, they had another one. So close. I could have gone... What I could have done differently there is I... I could have just had my removal spell kill their overwhelm unit instead of trying to save Diana. Um, with my play, it forced them to have the plus two plus one card and also have two of those three twos to beat me, and they ended up having all three of those. Maybe I'd just kill the overwhelm, then Diana would have died, but maybe that would have been better for me. Dang. Hey Doug, yeah, no, just uh, playing, yeah, playing this game instead of Magic. I like this one. I'm going with this. Legends of Runeterra is just an awesome game. Each game super close and interesting. All right, we're going to we're we're gonna not play anything on turn two. So now we can have stalking shadows into priestess. The thing is, is should I just attack for two to start with? Devotion to I think I like just getting this two damage in. They're down to fifteen. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. May need these elusives. Um. Yeah, I'm still going with priestess though. Uh. Well, Supernova is the best card, but maybe the Destroyer will help finish them off turn seven. Because I'm not going to behold a Celestial card, probably. I guess if I would have gra grabbed the four one, it'd been easier for these Nightfall cards. But I'm kind of thinking that like I can just throw down Shade Stalker first, because it doesn't matter if that thing has Nightfall or not, and then play like these other cards that do have. The Nightfall that matter. Because the, the the ephemeral one doesn't really matter. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Hmm. basically spending four mana for a 2-3. If I just play this, then play the Shade Stalker, I'm spending four mana for a 2-3 a elusive. That's a lot of mana for just a 2-3 elusive. Maybe I just pass and try to save spell mana. Yeah, really in Souls Amazing, Delphinus. The, the Celestial Dragons we played earlier is awesome that that was just that was an a really in soul deck um that one is up on youtube now so you can check out that one okay so i'm playing daylight spear next turn so now this turn we 
We're gonna go onlooker. King of trolls coming through. Just takes up too much mana. Because I need to be really aggressive. And so I can't just sit back and, and kill stuff, I don't think. I think I need to be quite aggressive. But... Because I don't... I guess I do have to kill this thing. It's not how I wanted this turn to go. Alright, at least they don't have a spell to protect sun with Sunburst. So I don't have to worry about that. Change is coming. Believe or burn. Shining softly. These are trolls. I go the destroyer next turn. It's just a 7 7 overwhelm. Is that going to be the best? Or I can go Priestess, Diana, Shade Stalker. Or Priestess, Shade Stalker, Shade Stalker. Or just a 7 7 overwhelm. It's kind of hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah, Invoke is quite good. We'll have to see though, you know, like everybody's playing Invoke, everybody's playing the brand new cards, it's the first day, and so that's why you're seeing it everywhere. It doesn't mean that like in a week it's gonna be everywhere. That hurts. That really hurts. Spell shield doesn't even stop that. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, you take dragons, which are already awesome, and then you get to add space. This board also, like, I'm I'm covering it up. But this board also has this, like, cool little design thing. I don't know what this is. A key sword. I don't know. But this thing's cool. Oh, I'm sorry, opponent. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're waiting on me. My bad. Well, that was a, this was a really important turn for us winning this game with that 7-7 Overwhelm. This turn went very well for them, I'd have to say. So I'm not, not very confident in us winning this game right now. But we'll have to see. Guiding, my brethren. 
sunlight blood while moonlight reveals. So Spell Shield usually stops Frostbite, but that specific card, that 3-1, um, it doesn't use the stack at all. It's not an ability, um, not a spell, not a skill, not, nothing like that. So that specific card, it doesn't. Um, but normally it would. Chosen of the moon. We open our hearts to find your path in the dark and follow no So like, like harsh winds would get stopped by it. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just that 3-1 just automatically frostbites. So that 3-1's a little different. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. That's not great. Surprised they haven't been playing the other Ice Pillar also. Or like, you know, like the previous turn. Like they could have just played both Ice Pillars. I had one more mana. At least that thing won't level up. That's good. That thing won't level up. Um, maybe I want to meteor shower. Let's see. Now let's let's go with this first. Nightfall will create another Nightfall card in hand. This will get rid of the Spell Shield. Is Mobilitics kind of down right now? Um, Hones, also the, the Aurelian Soul decklist is up on YouTube. Go to the YouTube channel, the first video there on YouTube. Uh, the Celestial Dragons is up there. Check out that one. Hmm. A new phase awaits. So obviously I want to obliterate the Aurelian soul. The problem is I want to obliterate something else that's better than this O4. But I don't really have a choice, I don't think. So I guess I just obliterate these, these two. I mean, if I pass, if, I mean, if I'm them, I just pass back. I'm happy with the pass. Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This 
make this seven. You make Diana seven with the Pale Cascade. Having one health means the Meteor Shower can clean it up. It can't really attack. I guess now we have this Unspeakable Horror that can clean it up as well. doesn't have spell shield. I mean, I can't really stop it, but... 1310 Challenger. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Right now I have the, the three elusives. Make that one elusive. You know, have this morning light. You can do some damage. Does this thing just grow to be plus two, plus two? Oh, right. The Scourge whenever it attacks. Well, that's cool. Brothers. I am more myself than ever. have seen them have frostbite cards. Ooh. Okay, now we talking. Now we talking. Stun some stuff. Chosen of the sun. The light rules the heavens. See, nobody ever runs out of cards. The <laughs> they still have infinite shines. cards at the end. Light stuns two things. Sun Guardian only stuns one. But Sun Guardian would also be... What is... Oh, right. That, that card. I was like, what is going on right now? Um, the Solari Priestess. No, my opponent does not like Ice Pillar. You don't know, like playing Ice Pillar. We rise. I'm assuming they're telling us that we got this win. Yeah, one harsh wins isn't going to do it. GG's. All right, three and two with day and night. Daylight everlasting. All right, daylight is everlasting. Alright, so that's day and night. Pretty nice little combinations of stuff that you can do. You know, sometimes you just use like all this day cards and like Leona and you stun all their stuff. Sometimes you use all the 
all these nightfall cards and like the onlooker with like all the fearsome um and then you know get big challenger with diana it was pretty cool nice little combination um i'd have to say that the the stalking shadows looked great i'd play an extra stalking shadows um which i guess i'd have to craft here real quick just to throw it in the deck to show uh, but i'd play an extra one of these over a pale cascade because you do want like the burst speed cards to help enable your nightfall cards and you want that right away where you, you don't really want pale cascade for that because you know that's just another nightfall payoff um so yeah stalking shadow looked looked awesome getting two copies of stuff whether it's two of these soldiers two of these onlookers um you know sometimes we got the the shade stalkers but then also the either the priestess are pretty good as two ups um so yeah i liked that card quite a bit so i'd play another one of those um, but there we go. So just some, some more experimentation, you know, just learning uh, some more stuff about all of these new cards. So there's day and night. Awesome. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the sub goal is supposed to be seven out of ten. Sorry, I'll move it over to the left. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, on YouTube, y'all, leave those comments. What has been really impressing you from the new set? What have you been enjoying? What do you want to see? What kind of combinations of maybe some of the old champions and these new champions do you want to see on stream? And just for, for YouTube videos, let me know. All right, but thank you so much for watching. Some day and night, and I'll see you for the next video.